Hey y'all, welcome back into the channel. I'm Shanice Walker, and I thank you so much for joining me on today. Look y'all, I really, really do appreciate y'all for viewing my videos, um, for liking my videos. I thank you to my new subscribers. I thank you to my returning subscribers. I just thank y'all so much for y'all support. But look y'all, let me tell you something. I have not put the video out yet, but by the time you see this video, you will um, you will know exactly what video I'm talking about. But y'all, when I tell you the devil was big mad that I had put that message out, the devil was big mad. Like I literally, my morning was turned upside down after <laughs> I had um, recorded that content or whatever, but um, I am just now um, leaving from dropping my babies off at school, y'all, and um, right after I got done recording that video for y'all, I had no clue because as you will be able to see in the video that it was dark, so I had no clue, y'all, that my tires were flat. Y'all, I got in the house, got my babies ready came outside got ready to take them to school y'all and i noticed when i cut my truck on it said that my tire pressure was low and um i looked at my tire pressure y'all one side was uh like 20 something the other side was y'all had a message to come through the other side was um seven y'all so I rushed down to the store, try to put some gas, I mean some gas, try to put some air in it, and y'all, um, please excuse me, a little disclaimer, I am on the road, I, I'm, um, headed, I'm on the road, I'm on the road, y'all, so, if you see me looking away, then that is why, but, um, y'all, so I go to try to put some air in the tire, long story short, y'all, I had to go, sit at the tire place, wait for them to open so that I could get two new tires, y'all. The devil was big mad. When I tell you I had just left work, I had just left work, so I know there was nothing wrong with my tires. This is how the enemy will try to get you. See, what he thought was my morning was going to be tossed upside down, and y'all, look, this is a side note, and this is for somebody because I wasn't going to explain to y'all, but God has prompted me to do so. Um, so this is a side note, and this is for somebody. The devil thought that that was going to turn me upside down. He thought that by jacking up my routine because I done the will of God. He thought that jacking up my routine was going to get me to be upset was going to get me to um, act out of character or whatever the case may be, y'all. Let me tell you something. The devil is just as strategic as God. I'm not trying to give him a whole lot of credit because we already know that the enemy is under our feet. Baby, He is, we got our foot all over his neck. He is defeated and he know that. But y'all, he really tried to throw a jab at me this morning. He both of my tires was flat. When I tell you, after I got done recording that content, both of my tires were flat. But on that note, you got to be able to take a licking and keep on ticking. You got to be able, when you are a chosen vessel for God, when you are doing the will of God, you got to be able to take whatever the enemy is throwing at you and still stand 10 toes down on what God has spoke to you, the thing that God has spoke over your life, whatever it is, you got to be able to take a licking and keep on ticking. Look, that right there is for somebody because that is not even a part of the message. But look, baby, the devil is defeated and he know that. But whatever, whenever you take care of God's business, and look at that light shining in, my God. Whenever you are taking care of God's business, God will most definitely take care of yours. Y'all, I just thank God that I was able to get up and get my tires fixed and, you know, still be just 
joyous and still be happy about it because y'all, it could have went a totally different way. It could have went a different way, but y'all, the devil is defeated and that's just that. And he mad, he is big mad, but I'm gonna keep on doing what I gotta do for God and you gonna keep on doing what you gotta do for God and he gonna stay mad and we gonna keep our foot on his neck because that's what we do. Okay, so to the message, to the message, look y'all, this is the message that God had gave me um, and I just had to get up here and give y'all this message this morning. Look y'all, do not be guilty by association. Associate, associ association. If I'm saying that right, y'all know what I'm trying to say. Don't be guilty of association. Let me tell you something. A lot of times we, we, we are good people. And I'm talking about the ones that are good people. The ones that really, truly have a genuine heart. The ones that really want to see people succeed for real. The ones that do not wish bad, do not wish evil on nobody. We really, truly want to see people win for real. Y'all, do not have yourself tied up and tied into some mess with evildoers. Don't do it. Don't connect yourself with people that, you know, it may not even be you. It may not be you, but it may be somebody that you hanging with. It may not be you that was gossiping at that table, but you heard what so-and-so said and you heard how she said it about so-and-so and you was there and you may have done a little snickling and laughing because you do know that some of the stuff that was spoke or whatever was true. Don't attach yourself to that. Because you know what? Just how that person finna be punished for what they said and what they doing, that causes you to be punished as well. Y'all, let me tell you something. People really out here want to see you down and out. People want to see you connected to mess just like them. Especially when you are a decent person, when you decent, when you don't do drama, when you don't get into mess. People want to see you down and out. People don't want to see you shining. Some of y'all shining so bright, people can't stand to be around y'all. It, it, it irks their nerves that you are still winning without them. It tears them up that you are walking in the anointing that you walking in. It upsets them. It makes them throw up in their mouth every time they see you smile. Every time they see that everything that they did to you did not defeat you. Don't be caught up with these types of people. Don't be caught up with evildoers. And I know sometimes, you know, it be family. It be people that we love. It be, it be our best friends. It be our good partners. It be bae. It be boo-boo. It be whoever. Look, shut that stuff down immediately. Shut it down immediately. If it's somebody that you know you gonna be around, you don't wanna be guilty of gossiping you don't want to be guilty of doing evil works against somebody else baby shut it down don't don't be associated with people like that because the punishment that they will receive you will receive the same thing too y'all i'm telling you people will really people are really out here living a miserable life for real some of these people want to keep tabs on you just to be sure that you are struggling. It, it lightens their day to know that you got issues. It causes them joy. It keeps them happy when they know that you got something going on. I mean, it's really people out here like that that want to see you down they want to see you out they don't want to see you succeed they don't want to see you have anything y'all stay away from these types of people stay away from evildoers even if you're not being even if because i know a lot of times 
you know, because that used to be me saying, oh, it wasn't me. I wasn't the one who said it. You know, I was there. I heard it. But I wasn't the one who said it. You know, it was funny. So I did laugh, but I didn't say it. She did. Or I heard it and, you know, I, I was there and I did kind of agree with it. I did kind of nod a little bit because it was true. Y'all, look, we have to we have to get to a place to where we shut conversations like that down shut it down especially when you are a chosen vessel for god keep your hands clean keep your hands clean don't associate yourself with people like that because when i tell you something honey they thrive they live for that they live for drama they thrive off of people going through it they want to know all your bad secrets they want to know everything that happened bad for you on that day. They never want to know anything good. Every time you got something good going on, they don't want to hear it. They don't never tell you their problems, but they always want to hear yours. Stay away from people like that. Stay away from people like that. And y'all, that's the message. That is the message. Stay away from, from people that ain't never got nothing good going on but they always they always want to hear something bad going on in your life it pleases them to know that you got something bad going on in your life people like that they love to see it they love to see it because they ain't got nothing going on in their life they ain't got nothing going on these are the type of people that just sit up gossip all day this is all they do this is what they they wake up they on the phone trying to uh figure out what somebody else got going on in their life ain't got nothing going on in theirs or nine times out of ten they got their life is in shambles their life is chaotic but you'll never know it because they're gonna call you and they're gonna talk about all your problems and then they're gonna take all of your problems and they're going to measure them up to theirs. And that's going to make them feel good because they're not the only ones going through it. Not only will they do that, they're going to take your business back to somebody else and talk about you to somebody else that you don't even know. You don't even know these people. You don't even get down like that. You see what I'm saying? Do not be guilty by association. Do not. Don't do it. Don't sit back and listen to somebody else gossip about somebody else. Even if you don't know this person. Even if you don't know them, you ain't never heard of them. You don't know what it is. You just there because you there for the comments. No, don't be there for the comments, baby. You got other stuff to do. You got bigger and better things to do. You don't have time to be getting somebody else's drama and somebody else's um karma falling off onto you in your life because of these people no ma'am no sir we doing something different we 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 got we got different things going on we're not gonna we're not gonna do this so y'all that's the message i had to get that off my chest this morning i had to get that 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 I had to get it off my chest, y'all. Look, keep doing what you need to do for God. Stay away from evildoers. Stay away from gossipers. Stay away from people that ain't never got nothing good going on. Stay away from people that always want to hear about everything bad you got going on. Don't never want to hear the good. Ain't never got no good advice for you. Stay away from them type of people. Them the type of people that you do not want around you because whatever is on them is going to fall on you. And everything could be going just perfectly fine in your life and you get attached to people like that and everything that you know to be normal will be chaotic. I love y'all. I'm Shanice Walker. I'll see you on the next video. Bye.